Well, um, the book is more about design, as you know. Uh, Charuk has already told you. Uh, well, it charts out my um, journey as a designer. Um, anyone who's interested in design or um, they want tips on interior decorating their homes. Um, so I've just compiled everything together for uh, people to go through design and whoever is interested. Um, and you know, basically when, when I chose this profession, uh, designing homes, bringing them to life was extremely um, satisfying, exciting, and uh, seeing a smile on the client's face was, it just gave me, gave me so much joy uh, that I enjoyed it so much. I said, I have to pen down all those thoughts and um, you know, all the designs, all under one book. Um, you know? So I decided to just have it all together in this book. So that, that was the reason to just have this book put together. Yeah, and looks gorgeous. You also mentioned in the book that uh, Probably the first project that you worked on was to redesign your Delhi home. And you also designed Mannath, where we currently live with Shah Rukh and the kids. So what, what are your favorite uh, spaces, uh, to, Shah Rukh? To, may I inter is, it, is it okay if I talk in between or it's Yes, yes. No, it's a conversation. So no, please butt in. If, if it's a show, I can just sit and look pretty. No, no. I was going to ask you. This question was for you, and both okay. of you can chime in. Okay. I just, I just want to say that you know, when we bought the house we live in now, it was way beyond our means. And uh, being from Delhi, one was used to living in bungalows. One did not realize that Mumbai has a whole system where apartments are even more expensive and bigger. But we are not used to it. Not because I was very well off. It's just that everybody in Delhi seemed to have a bungalow. And we'd come from there and we used to live actually to the house next to Taj, right here, Billy. And uh, which was my director's house. He had lent it to us and said, you stay here as long as uh, you're making films. And we had not too much money. So whenever we, as soon as we uh, mustered up some money, we said, we'll go and buy this bungalow. And it was way beyond our means. Uh, but we managed to buy it, which was one thing. And then you had to rebuild it because it was uh, uh, quite dilapidated and uh, uh, kind of broken um, <laughs> and then we didn't have money to furnish it and of course we called one designer the lunch that he served us telling us how he'll design this house was way more than the salary I used to earn in a month and we're like this guy's gonna charge a lot so how do we do this house now we bought it what do we do with this and then the only person to turn was I said listen Gauri you have little artistic talent. Why don't you become the designer of the house? So actually, Mannat started like that. So whatever little monies we earned over years, we kept on buying small things. I remember we had gone down once even to South Africa, I think, and we had little money and we bought the leather for the sofa that we'll put on. And all those small, small things we used to buy with, you know, at that time when you traveled abroad, I think you got a hundred pounds or uh, some amount of money that you were allowed to carry from India. So it was taken only to buy a decoration piece. So it took us a while, and I think that training ground is what actually made her start designing. You know, because Manat is, <clears throat> if I may say, a little big. And then, you know, for her to start doing something at a, such a young age, not realizing without a designer, I think that kind of helped her also to learn. And, you know, then from one thing to the other, she kept on designing stuff. And for me, it's very nice that, uh, you know, I don't have to look for another designer. Uh, I can I can uh, scream and shout at her. Oh, this is not nice. So you change this and all, which I've never done. I'm just joking. I just wanted to say it here in public. And uh, you know, it's just easier to discuss what we want uh, because I also have a thing that things should be clean and nice. So I think she started with that whole aspect, and then you know, she's gone on to design any and everything yeah. that we buy now. So yeah. <laughs> so what is your favorite space in in Manna? Then you know where you like to hang out. Or Contrary to popular belief that I spend a lot of time in the bathroom, I, <laughs> I do like my library the most. Uh, there's a section in the house which is kind of my office, which doesn't have any electronics. And yeah. it's a library which um, I just like sitting in. It's been long since I've read the books in it, but it just feels very intellectual and smart. A lot of people get fooled when they walk in and they say, oh my God, you've read them all. I say, yeah, yeah, 70% of them. 
Well, the book has actually, you know, um, a lot of different things like I was mentioning in my introduction as well from technical aspects, you know, about textures, colors, lighting to so many other things that you talk about in terms of your projects and people you've worked with along the way. So tell us a little bit about, you know, the contents of the book. The best part of the book, I would say, is the, the family pictures we've, we've done together. Um, to, get, to get all of them under one roof, um, the kids, and it was easier to get Aryan's, uh, Shah Rukh's date. Uh, we were just waiting for Aryan's date all the time. That when is he going to give me time? And when is Abram going to give me time to get this one picture together? So that's what I've really enjoyed apart from design. And I believe um, you did that twice, yes, right? Because there yes. was one photo shoot that we yes. did before the pandemic and then there was a little bit of gap because, you know, uh, there was the pandemic and Corey said, but he looks very different now. He's, he's grown up. Yes. So we have to shoot again. <laughs> we had to do that. Who, me? Of course. <laughs> you, I thought you were reverse aging. <laughs> She's talking about Abraham. Growing <laughs> up. Abraham said, yeah, he looks grown up now. Let's do another photo shoot. Yeah, so the book has my some of my favorite projects, which I've been working on for so many years. Um, and we, I recently did this show, uh, which transforms homes within five days. And it was a unique concept, and it was we really enjoyed, you know, putting that show together. So I've uh, spoken about that, and we've shared some beautiful images. Um, recently, uh, we've uh, also done some, um, you know, product design uh, uh, for access uh, for accessories, and uh, we have put that on Tata Click. Um, that has been. Um, like one of my most exciting um, you know, ventures lately. Swale is very happy to hear that. <laughs> on Tata Click, I'm yes. there on first. So. <laughs> I'm better looking than you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Looks do everything. Who needs talent when you look like me? <laughs> yeah, so. Um, yeah, and of course, most exciting was Shah Rukh's forward in the book. Uh, which I think you I think it's uh, it's very I mean it's you it's different it's it's revealing but uh, it's also fun to read and, and the book has a lot of it's very um, it, we've uh, made it it's uh, lots of images lots of uh, fun photographs of the kids and apart from design because it's about my life in design it's about uh, me for refurbishing my homes, uh, my Delhi home, um, you know, the home in Bombay, uh, Shah Rukh's Red Chili's office. So it's about my life in design. So it was very important um, to have uh, Shah Rukh and the children a part of this book, um, a part of this journey, you know. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm really excited to uh, see how it's uh, come up and it's looking great. So we have copies here for all of you. If you want to get a copy and uh, actually read the book, please go ahead and we have a counter at the back. But uh, before we close, I, I wanted to ask you about uh, a challenging project perhaps that you worked on and you still remember. Yes. Yeah, so every project is dear to a designer and they make sure that, you know, when you're working on something, whether big or small, whether it's one room or it's 50,000 square feet, each project has challenges, you know, and um, we have to give it our best. Um, but working through so many years, again, I would go back to Red Chilies, <laughs> which is Shah Rukh's project. Um, he, he's a tough one to crack, I would say, because the team is always struggling to get his approval because he may come up with a better design at all times. So <laughs> that was the challenge. Apart from Red Chili's being, um, you know, has various um, verticals, whether it's the KKR office or is it the production, um, you know, which is there or the television, the film department. So, so many spaces all under one roof. You know, to um, put that all together. And see, and all, all each 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 person there. It's a different kind of see. You know, cricket is different. Sports is different. Visual effects is different. Yeah. Um, production is different. Directors' rooms are different. Editing suites are different. Um, now I think even 
uh, we have some television aspects also happening there. And it's a different set of crowd. They may seem all related to entertainment, but they're all different set of people doing different kind of jobs. And I think that becomes, uh, and, and we do believe, I believe, that when I go to a workspace, it should be pleasant and nice. It be, you spend lots of time there. And uh, I want it to be the best for the people, including myself, when I go to work there. So yeah. it's not that we were being difficult. Yeah, and, but you have uh, to put it in an organized manner. It's in one you know? flow. So you one, talk about that. Yeah, you yeah, have to organize it and make it yeah. still work with, I think, so 80, has, 90 people and working still there. at it, you know, every day there's something new which is coming up. So I think um, I would go with that. I'm tempted to ask one last question to you, Shahrukh, and this is something that you speak about in the foreword as well, uh, where you say that Gauri brings a unique style, you know, a bit of herself, you know, her personal touch to each project that she works on. So would you like to say something more about I think it's very kind of her, you know, to be sitting here and not really talking about all the other projects she has done. Uh, before we walked in, she said, listen, I don't want to be riding on top of the fact that I've done this big restaurant, I've done this big house. So we'll talk about stuff we've done internally, uh, which takes away a little bit of, uh, not a little bit, a lot of hard work she puts into uh, making sure her clients are happy. You know, a living space or an office space are very personal and people have choices. Um, I, I just like the fact that, you know, when she makes a house or a home or an office, it seems very lived in. It doesn't seem, uh, you know, just uh, sanitized and clean. There's some warmth to it. Uh, it seems like it's a place where she would have liked to spend time to, you know. So, and I think that, that makes it very uh, personal. It makes it warmer. It just makes it nicer. Uh, there are certain things, you know, when we are doing it in the house or outside also, to be honest. I've seen some of the places she designed. We go there and the kids and we always go, oh, look, look, mama's here, mama's here. Mama's designed this part, huh? like that. Oh, see, mama's style and all. There is this personal touch. And she takes it very, uh, you know, she's, uh, what is nice is we all do. In our family, we do work very hard and very professionally in trying to get what needs to be done. It's a culture we follow in our family. But somewhere down the line, when it comes to homes and houses, it is double the responsibility. It's not just a film that you make and hope everybody likes. A house has to be lived in by the families there and loved to death. So that is a double the responsibility. And I, I see her working at three in the morning, four in the morning. And the whole idea is to make it like a, like a home or a, an office which seems worked in and lived in. It does not seem, you know, like I said, sanitized and clean and just good walls and good floors. So I think that's an important aspect she spends maximum time on because putting up four walls, floor and a ceiling is the easy part. Uh, making it livable and lovable is I think what a designer should do according to the choice of the client, not just your uh, will and fancy. Thank you so much. Congratulations again to you, Gauri. We're very proud you, of Millie. publishing the book. Thank you, Sharu. With that, I'll hand yeah. it over. I would like to thank uh, Mr. and Mrs. Khan and the lovely audience for this wonderful evening. Uh, may I now invite Mr. Puneet Chatwal, MD and CEO, IHCL, and Mrs. Chatwal, along with Mr. Hitendra Dave, C uh, CEO, HSBC, for a photo opportunity, please.
Thank you, thank you everyone, thank you very much.